as we've been telling you, Pfizer announced this morning that it will buy King Pharmaceuticals for $3.6 billion, all in cash. For a deeper look into this deal, we're joined right now on the phone by Bloomberg Pharmaceuticals reporter Shannon Pettipiece uh, for this week's stock therapy. And uh, Shannon, first off, uh, you know, we, we knew that Pfizer has been making some big deals. I mean, they bought Wyeth last year. So uh, how does this fit into their portfolio? Yeah, well, Pfizer, uh, they said earlier this year they're continuing to do um, uh, mergers and acquisitions. They were looking for something in the several billion dollar range. They're still can sort of be like these bolt-on acquisitions that they can, you know, tack on to their existing areas where they're focused. And pain's obviously one of those. They have the uh, arthritis drug Celebrex and the, uh, the uh, Lyrica pain treatment. So it just kind of fits right in uh, with that uh, pain portfolio that they've already been sort of trying to build out. Right. So with this and these other bolt-on acquisitions and also Wyeth, uh, are we suddenly coming upon a, a part of Pfizer that is going to be able to sort of make up for those losses with Lipitor? Well, yeah, that's the whole idea here. Yeah, as you mentioned, if you, Pfizer loses their top-selling drug, Lipitor cholesterol pill, uh, next year when generics come on the market. And that drug had about $11 billion in sales. Uh, they did this acquisition of Wyeth a year ago. That really helped buy them some time. But if the company wants to have, you know, continual growth, um, they're going to have to keep making these sort of small deals. And that's sort of the strategy here. These bolt-on acquisitions help complement the areas that they're already in. Okay. And what do you make of the price. Uh, well, you know, the premium is about a 40% premium, and that's better than what we've been seeing on average uh, for deals in pharma and uh, uh, biotech. So it uh, does seem to be a good price. And I think I was just looking at their stock price. Uh, it hasn't closed at this price since September 2007, and that was around the same time that King lost uh, the patent protection on their former top seller, which was a blood pressure treatment. Mm. Um, so now that, that product went generic in 2007, the stock's fallen, and the company sort of re-geared itself to focus on pain. Right. Um, and that's what they've been doing, developing these sort of abuse-resistant pain drugs, like pain patches and, okay. and those sort of things. Uh, and Shannon, uh, you know, not only the, the price, but also the fact that they bought this all in cash. I mean, they must have a lot on their balance sheet. But after this acquisition, how much do they have left? Uh, well, the company is still generating a lot of cash. They still do have good cash flow. Um, do they have the type of cash where they could do another, uh, you know, YF mega merger? And the company said they don't have an appetite for that. That's not what they're looking for. But uh, they, they do continue to generate cash quarter after quarter. So they have, they have some opportunities.